C clauses. C clauses are a very useful way to use more than one verb tense in one sentence. They're comprised of the C or if clause and the main roots or result clause, what will happen as a result of the condition mentioned in the C clause. So in the C clause we have if something happens, then something else will happen as a result of that condition. They work just like in English. Let's look at some English sentences. Number one C clause. If I study, I will succeed. Present, future. And that succeeding is dependent upon the condition in the if clause, if I study. If I studied, I would succeed. A little bit further in the past, in the C clause, with I would succeed, it's become now more of a hypothesis, less likely. And number three C clause, if I had studied, I would have succeeded. In the C clause, we've stepped even further back into the past. And then in the other clause, in the main or result clause, it's now the conditional perfect and looking less likely. Let's look at number one C clauses. If the C clause is in, is in the present tense, the main clause mainly will be in the future. It can be in the present, the future, or the imperative. But most often you'll see it in the future, just like that example, if I study, I will succeed. You'll note I put in brackets there, all passé composé. Sometimes you will see um, a C clause with a passé composé, yeah? Um, and if so, then the main clause will be in the present, the future, or the imperative. Here are some examples, taking our previous example. Si j'étudie, je réussirai. If I study, I will succeed. The C clause is in the present tense. The main clause is in the future. Here's another one. Si tu veux venir, tu peux. There's an example of the C clause in the present tense and the verb in the main clause in the present tense as well. And this usually applies to modals. Vouloir, pouvoir, savoir, devoir. These are the kinds of verbs you will see in this sort of construction. Finally, si elle arrive, ouvre la porte. If she arrives, open the door. There's an example of C, the C clause in the present tense and the other clause using the imperative. Number two C clauses. If the C clause is in the imperfect, the main clause will be in the conditional. And let's look at that same example. Si j'étudiais, je réussirais. If I studied, I would succeed. Si elle venait, nous jouerions au tennis. If she came, we would play tennis. S'ils allaient en taxi, ils iraient plus vite. If they went by taxi, they'd go faster. And you'll see that because we have the imperfect and the conditional, they have the same endings. They, they both use the imperfect endings. But we can tell that the one in the main clause is the conditional, and there's two ways. The first way is we can see that R, just with the future as well, réussirait, jouerions, ils iraient. We've got that R from the, the infinitive or the irregular future stem. And the other thing is that we know that in C clauses, we'll never find future or conditional in C clauses. In the, in the C clause, it will be in the main clause. Let's look at number three C clauses. If the C clause is in the pluperfect, the main clause will be in the conditional perfect. Taking that same example, si j'avais étudié, j'aurais réussi. If I had studied, I would have succeeded. Si elle était venue, nous aurions joué au tennis. If she had come, we would have played tennis. S'ils étaient allés en taxi, ils seraient allés plus vite. And again, you can see with our uh, auxiliaries there, avait, aurait, in, we've got the imperfect and the conditional, était, aurions, était, serait. Tips once again, look for the R of the infinitive or irregular future stem. That will tell you its future or conditional. And remember, the C clause itself, the C, the, the actual clause with the C in it, will never be in the future or the conditional. Once again, number one C clauses. If the C is in the present tense, the main clause will be in the future or present or imperative. Number two C clauses. If the C clause is in the imperfect, the main clause will be in the conditional. Finally, number three C clauses. If the C clause is in the pluperfect, the main clause will be in the conditional perfect. Merci.